Welcome back. <laughs> All right, now choosing the right pair of sunglasses can be a daunting task with the thousands of choices in the market. But aside from choosing the right frame for your face, you also need to consider UV protection, durability, and visibility. Now joining us now for more tips on finding the right pair of sunglasses is Marge Camacho, Operations Director of Rudy Project Philippines. Right in time for the summer. Yes. Uh, it's already officially underway, but I'm sure a lot of people can really use these on vacation for, uh, for the upcoming Holy Week, right? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I mean, um, right now we have, uh, ex especially after what happened, you know, like uh, since 1975, UV rays have just been getting worse and worse every mm -hmm. year. Mm -hmm. So now um, we're trying to um, let people know that protecting your eyes is just as important as protecting your skin. Mm -hmm. So right now uh, we want to tell or let people know that there are certain sunglasses that fits your lifestyle okay. and not just, you know, put a pair on and you're, you're fine. That's right. I mean, I think, uh, I think my dad <laughs> is one of those people who just kind of finds, he loves sun, sunglasses and he's got his, yeah. his, his pair that, you know, that he really loves, but then he just loves like going into every store and picking out, yeah. picking out random sunglasses, uh -huh. you know, some cheap random sunglasses and putting them on mm -hmm. and they might not exactly have the kind of UV protection that, exactly. you, that you need. So yeah. tell us about, um, you have, you brought in a couple of different sunglasses. Yes. Uh, one of them I like quite well. Well, this, these are yours. I'm just going to borrow them while we go do this ahead, interview. Go ahead. Go ahead. Tell us about some of the um, some of the shades that you brought yeah. in. Yes. <laughs> yes. Actually, I would I would say that. Um, Our Bernalanga. Yes. <laughs> 2011, uh, we came out with this line, which is similar to the Aviators. Well, it is like our aviator line, mm -hmm. but we've improved a lot of the designs because it fits almost every face type. Nice. Now, the, like what you're wearing is a Skyline 58, which is perfect for your kind of kind of frame. Mm -hmm. uh, and what kind face. of face is that, Marge? Uh, it, it would be, a, I think, <laughs> oval. The, the oval face mm -hmm. if you notice it doesn't touch your cheeks no. and it's not heavy and that's always something that's really difficult it's really difficult for me to actually find a pair of sunglasses that I, I that think I this so, one is perfect so whenever and especially when you laugh <laughs> oh, you don't want it to touch exactly your, uh, your cheeks all right yeah. And if I'm falling more and more <laughs> in love with them, so I'm going to take them off. Okay, um, but these are from the Skyline. Uh, yes, Skyline line. If you notice, the the lenses are actually multi-laser coated, meaning mm -hmm. that you get maximum protection for your for your corneas, and it it won't at all um, uh, burn. Or, or damage your eyes. Okay, but we're also looking at a lot of, um, you know, a lot of people affiliate uh, or associate the the brand with maybe sport, um, with sporty sports, looking exactly. sunglasses, yeah. sports in general. And so, uh, I mean, these are definitely fashionable and, yes. and trendy. But you also do have more of, you know, what kind of people really affiliate yes. the brand to be. Actually, I want to I want to just show everybody this one. This well, we're seeing like, some of the trendy ones yes. right now on screen, so we can see that. Yeah. Ah, very. Um, very cool. Okay, um, but you also have, if we could just uh, show back here uh, in the studio, because you brought in these cool glasses. Yeah, um, this this light is actually um, represents UV rays. Okay. okay. Now this is the what glass? This is what glasses. we call the carbon eye, and I know that a lot of people right now are into like running. They're into like cycling. Mm -hmm. Now what happens is they really start early at about 4.30, 5 o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you don't need glasses that are so dark mm -hmm, at that time. Mm -hmm. So if you notice Rudy Project, um, so, uh, what do you call this, lenses have uh, what we call the photochromatic. Now when you put the UV rays right in front of there, you're going to mm. notice that it's darkening. See there? Oh. Those are UV rays. Now, w when you hit automatically like 9 o'clock or even as early as 8 o'clock, the sun will just like hit your eyes and this will darken. Mm. So you don't need to take them off and then change into a darker frame. You can wear these as early as 4 in the morning, protect your eyes when you're cycling or you're running. Right there. You can see how, how, how what the difference is. So you don't even there. actually really have to take them off. No, you can, not at uh, all. You don't have to worry yeah. about any of that. Okay, so this exactly. is really for the... Um, now when you go, does that work now when you go indoors? So is it one of those glasses that you oh, kind of yeah, go yeah. indoors and outdoors? Indoors, outdoors, wherever in you shade? go. Yeah. Okay. Um, and these are the what now? 
Uh, they're called the carbonite. Carbonite. Yeah. Okay, Paolo, Paolo can make a lot, of, get a lot of use out of this. Yeah. All right. Now, um, as far as the other stuff that we are, uh, that we you've also brought that we should also know about. Yes. Um, do these other glasses have the same UV protection? Yes, actually, um, these are what we call our top of the line. They're photochromatic, polarized. Mm -hmm. Now, especially for pilots. Um, probably boat captains or sailors, mm -hmm. they're um, exposed to a lot of the, the, you know, they're in the cockpit or they're in front of very glary sea when, mm -hmm. they're, when they're maneuvering a boat or when they're sailing. So they get really burned because the reflection of water, it, you know, it, it's just like putting a, a mirror under the mm -hmm, sun. Mm -hmm. It just Piece bounces like back. Foil. So you want to, you want to protect your eyes by um, wearing photochromatic polarized lenses. Okay. Because this will allow you also to see whatever's in front of you. Okay. Now I mean, even if with the glare. We're talking Sorry. about uh, we're talking about uh, how important UV protection it is. How yes. uh, it should really play a role in you picking out your sunglasses. What happens when you don't? Uh, you know, when you don't really give too much attention to what kind of UV protection your sunglasses have, what are some of the, um, mm -hmm. what are some of the general, you know, what's some of the general damage that can be done to the cornea, to your eye? Oh, it, it's just like um, right now the amount of melanoma in our skin, like skin cancer rays, what we call the ultraviolet B, which is the most harmful, which is between 10 a.m. to 4 in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. Those are the most harmful. Whatever um, kind of uh, damage you get from the sun with your skin is the same with your eyes. And our eyes are the most, one of the most delicate organs in our body. Mm -hmm. So imagine that it is going to be the same, the same, um, you're, over time you're just going to, also for women, of course the wrinkles, mm. the eyes. Yes. That no will, crow's <laughs> feet. That's what I'm worried yes. about now. But um, you know, does it also does it also matter if you have um, if you if you feel like your eyesight is getting worse and worse? I mean, does it actually get to a point where uh, enough UV exposure kind of really uh, contributes to the speedening speedening up of yes. your um, of your uh, eyesight? Yes, it's eyesight. actually well, one of the one of the most c common I think. Um, cases would be when you start having cataracts mm, okay. and you have like this film in front of your eyes mm -hmm. those are actually um uh, signs of sun damage to ah, the eyes. I see okay so what about astigmatism is that somewhere along the same lines or is I that... wouldn't s okay. I, I wouldn't think so though right. okay. I wouldn't think so but astigmatism would have to be more um I think related to your to your balance. Okay. All right. Yeah. I know I'm Martha, <laughs> bombarding you with questions about no uh, that, that, uh, that an eye doctor would. I was just uh, kind of curious off the top of my head. But you were saying, yes. um, especially with people who have uh, cataract, they can really use um, they can use that UV protection exactly, to yes. kind of at least, at the very least, stop uh, stop the damage. Yes. Okay. We still have a couple of um, of glasses we haven't gone through. Tell us yeah. about this, these funky teal ones. Yeah. Now those aren't these for like actually. an 80s party, no. <laughs> These are like these just came out now. A lot of the people uh, who do a lot of sports, no, they want something that wraps around. Mm -hmm. Would you like to try those? Sure, on? why not? <laughs> are these um, like uh, you know? I was a setter. When I used hey, to those are not so bad on you. Hey, there you, you know. go. <laughs> mine, mine, mine. <laughs> <laughs> these are actually our multi-laser lenses, which okay. give you just enough protection. It's for the athletes who want to, like, you know, go out and, and play volleyball mm. or go, you know, frisbee. I'm just relating it to the sports that we're, we're, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you're used to here. Um, these are snug fits. So if you go running, you want to, like, keep your sunglasses on and not risk the, you know, not risk dropping How much them. do I move my head when I run? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Or uh, play frisbee. But yeah, these yes. do have a, a nice snug fit, but not to the point where, you know, you're, I'm getting a headache because Exactly. Because they around. don't pinch on the temples. I see. Okay. Now, why yeah. are they really blue? Um, <laughs> Multi-laser blue lenses are supposed to be very good for, uh, let's say, the, the 11 o'clock to 4 o'clock sun because it gives you the enough UV protection at the same time, you know, have that... The, a little bit of the, the, the stylishness as well. I see. Okay. We All have right. multi red, we have multi orange, but blue but is, blue. is is Okay, well, I think we have time for one more, one more. One um, more. Actually I wanna I want oh, that just flew off. I wanted oh, to yeah. show I'm about to blow off. Blow <laughs> off. Okay. Okay, Go ahead. these lenses are called the racing red lenses, which are best for driving. Mm -hmm. Okay, they're red. So 
always associate red lenses with driving or when you're skiing. Okay. Because it gives you like 100% peripheral view. Ah. And if you are the kind of athlete or person who usually, ha you know, when, you, when you're running or when you're like sweating, there are people who sweat more on, on like their, their forehead mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. they usually cloud when when you wear this, uh -huh. your 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 sunglasses get blurry. Okay. Now you want to get lenses that have like the vents. Ah. Because I when see. you're running and you're huffing and puffing, and then all of a sudden your lenses get really uh, foggy. Now can yeah. can you switch the lenses? I mean, sure. you have other lenses yeah. on there too, uh, and you can kind of switch them around depending on if you're depending, driving that yeah, day. Yeah. If if you're driving, you can take your red, and say you want to go just for. A, for a, like a drive when you're, or when you're playing golf, actually. Mm, okay. We usually use the brown lenses for golf because oh. when you see the green, when you're walking in a, in a golf course, you see the difference, right? Yes, very much when you're walking so. in, the, in, the, in a golf course, you want to have maximum peripherals to see where your ball's going, mm. <laughs> contrasted with all that green, so. That's really a great selling point right there. You definitely want to yeah. see where your balls are going. Exactly. Um. <laughs> <laughs> and it's all right. And it's what people take for granted. That's right. They, that's they right. Think, We're yeah. talking about golf balls there. <laughs> uh, but you know, this is funny. Now, if you're driving a golf cart, then maybe you want to wear your glasses like this, so then you can see the balls <laughs> and you can still have yeah. your protection driving. Why not? Whatever floats oh, your boat. Oh, wow. Ah, I love these morning's interviews. All right. All right. Well, Marge, thank you so much. Uh, if for more information on, on these sunglasses and maybe just in general about UV protection, can you uh, yeah. help our viewers uh, check out a website or something? Of Actually, sort? you could check us out at um, on Facebook. Everybody's on Facebook. Mm -hmm. So go to Rudy Project Philippines. And um, if we're also the... Um, the World Wide Web, of course, we have RudyProject.com. All right, well, Marge Camacho, it's been a pleasure. Please come back with your uh, yes. next set of trends. You know, I'm just going to go ahead and take these away with me. Go ahead. Uh, but while I, <laughs> while I make uh, takas, while I run.